Welcome to Auburn University, home of the Beta Lambda chapter, the largest current chapter in Talk Kappa Epsilon. You know, they do things big here in the South. We're coming back to the South as a family to reunite at our 62nd Conclave in Ponte Verde Beach, just outside of Jacksonville, from August 1st to the 4th, 2024. At Conclave, you'll learn more about how to operate, to recruit, and how to be safe around your chapters. You have the opportunity to engage with collegiates and alumni frauders in moments of brotherhood. And because we're celebrating the 125th anniversary, there'll be a few surprises in store for you. So I hope that you'll join me in my home state of Florida, August 1st to the 4th, as we celebrate the 125th anniversary of Talk Cap Epsilon. In fact, you can register right now by going to teak.org backslash conclave. I hope to see you in Florida in August. In August 2019, at the 60th Conclave in my hometown of Orlando, Florida, I shared the quote, a people without their knowledge of their past history, origin, and culture is like a tree without roots. So every January 10th, we come together to celebrate our beloved Tau Kappa Epsilon, and in doing so, reflect not only on the founding of our fraternity, but the promises we have made and our focus on the future direction of the fraternity. Those of us fortunate enough to call ourselves frauders know the story of Settles, McNutt, Mayer, Truett, and Atkinson, wanting to create something better than what was available for themselves and other college men to follow. Like many of us first-generation college students, I exemplified the teak spirit before we ever learned of the fraternity, which would forever become a part of our lives. As I shared before, my journey was one of wanting better than living in a double wide trailer and wondering how to provide for my family. My adventure in Tall Kappa Epsilon provided a family to me in a place where I was all alone, in an environment that was not part of my family's origin story or culture. At the University of South Carolina and later at the University of Central Florida, I drew off the history of my chapters and frauders to develop those roots. The fraternity gives us an opportunity to make lifelong connections that better our lives. For those of you who have joined the fraternity for life, you have learned that these deep connections often occur after our collegiate days. For me, one of the deepest connections in the fraternity started in 2013 with meeting past Grand Preakness Ted Beresville, who entered the chapter eternal on August 13th of 2023. Ted and I had humble backgrounds and embraced the opportunity to find something better for our lives. Ted, who initiated at the Gamma Upsilon chapter on the University of Texas campus before I was even born, utilized the relationships and experiences in his collegiate chapter to reach some of the highest echelons of business. Ted's success changed the trajectory of his life and the lives of his wife, Kim, daughters, Allison and Becky, and his first grandson and future Teak Frauder Bennett. Ted loved to mention hope is not a strategy, that we can be fortunate in our defeats and to exemplify a spirit that does not shrink from sacrifice, that knows no defeat, a spirit indomitable. Despite facing challenges, both personal and professional this past year, my life was enhanced due to my relationship with T and Ted. Ted's family invited me along with Ted's fellow Gamma Upsilon frauders and best friends, past Grand Officer Brian Montgomery and Jack Bobbitt to speak at his celebration of life in Houston. The invitation has been one of the greatest honors I've had as Grand Preakness and reminded me that Teaks bring people together with different histories, origins, and cultures for the good of our fraternity, for the good of our fellow frauders, and for our own good allowing us to live in the spirit of true brotherhood in our fraternity for life. A part of my history came full circle in early October while facing an ongoing serious illness. Most of my life, my father was ill and passed in 2003, a few days before his 44th birthday. On October 3rd, I became older than my father when he passed. Since I've last spoke to you in my 2023 Founders Day address, I faced several serious issues requiring me to draw on my faith, family, and fraternity. 
Without the support of my wife, Heather, my children, and my fraternal relationships, I don't know how I would be here today to speak with all of you. I know many of you have similar circumstances in your lives, and you have both survived and thrived, due in part to TEAP and the common bond that gives us strength and resolve. As we celebrate this 125th anniversary, I ask that you consider sharing with each other and the fraternity what TEAK has given you in your life. You can share this with your local chapter, alumni association, on our social media chapters, and with me personally at ryanvescio at gmail.com. Witnessed through our profiles of 125 influential TEAKs this year, our fraternity has impacted all aspects of our world. Ambassadors Donald Tapia, Ryan Crocker, Senator Richard Stone, Daniel Levinson, and Gary Dorr have represented their respective countries around the world. Nobel Prize winners Paul Greenward, Dr. William Fowler, Daniel McFadden, and Ken Brockman led innovation to change our world. Entrepreneurs Mark Benihoff, Conrad Hilton, Paul Orfus, Dan Mead, and Charles Walgreen formed and led companies that have impacted our world. Frauders Dr. Stephen Cohen, Edward and William DeVry, Dr. Fred Carter, Earl Harbison Jr. and Elmer Smith have contributed to, led, and innovated to higher learning institutions across the country. Philanthropists like our current Teak Foundation Chairman James Crocker, Thomas Cohn, and Raymond Chambers have changed their communities through their giving of their time, talent, and treasure. Frauders General Earl Edward Anderson Major General and current Grand Council member, Chuck Whittington Jr., and retired Navy Captain, POW, and ex-Executive Vice President of TEAK, Bill Metzger, have dedicated their lives to protecting the freedoms that make America the beacon of hope, prosperity, and safety for those worldwide. While it is important to celebrate our past, we look forward towards the future. TEAK has been a leader throughout our existence in doing and being more for our members, our campuses and communities. And over these next 125 years, this will not change. To accomplish this, allow me to share the vision of our Grand Council on how we will continue to do so in the future. Through the challenges established over 50 years ago by Frauder Danny Thomas, TEAKs have committed to supporting St. Jude Children's Research Hospital to further Frater Thomas's goal of ending childhood cancer. Since 2009, we have raised over eight and a half million dollars for the hospital. I'm proud to announce that we will continue to grow our relationship with St. Jude, and in the coming year, we will have exciting announcements relating to strengthening this partnership. Several years ago, Teak left the North American Interfraternity Conference so that we could directly control our direction for the future within the fraternal world. Over the past few years, TEAK has championed a more educated grand chapter in best practices of risk management and a safer experience for our members and guests. We were the first fraternal organization to have a certified Title IX investigator, Chief Risk Officer Frater Gregory Roscoff, on our staff to help establish, monitor, and enforce top standards and practices in risk management. Frater Roscoff and Director of Health and education, Joey Kryzwanos, have not only reduced risk management incidents year after year, but have also introduced resources focused on the safety and welfare to enhance the safety of our college members. Working together over the next several years, a range of new initiatives will be introduced, spanning areas such as education, marketing, and apparel. We will continue to grow the fraternity at a substantial pace not only returning to historic chapters, but also looking to establish chapters at new institutions. A great example of the commitment of our fraternity to grow is here at the Beta Lambda chapter at Auburn University. Like our five founders, five men here at Auburn embraced excellence to create a brighter tomorrow through resurrecting the chapter. Their work has led to building the largest current chapter in Teak Nation with a total of 192 collegiate frauders strengthened with the recent initiation of 67 new frauders this fall. This past year, we have seen a dedication to frauder Melchard's spirit through explosive recruitment at chapters such as San Diego State, the University of Southern California, James Madison, Louisiana State, and Louisiana Tech. 
Auburn University has a special place in the heart of Cass Grand Preakness in order of the Golden Eagle recipient, Dr. William Muse. Frater Muse, a former president here at Auburn, based his doctoral dissertation on the relationship between the success of a social fraternity and its adherence to business management practices and principles. A focus on these principles has led our fraternity to survive the COVID pandemic and each year grow larger. On both the collegiate and international levels, sound business practices and financial responsibility will continue to make our fraternity stronger. Following the example of these frauders allows us to extend the honor of membership to the next generation of frauders who will influence our fraternity and the world while allowing us to reconnect with alumni frauders across Teak Nation. The Teak Foundation, under the leadership of Chairman James Crockard and Chief Executive Officer Donald Aldridge, is reaching new heights in achieving fundraising success for the fraternity. We need additional financial resources to do everything we want and provide the fraternal experience that our current and future college frauders deserve. Today, frauders who either pause giving or who have never previously given are approaching the fraternity and wanting to help. I ask you to consider joining this effort and expanding our mission, demonstrating how we make better men for a better world. I want to thank those who have consistently contributed to the Teak Foundation. Our Foundation Board of Directors stewards every dollar that, that you give to give support to our collegiate frauders through scholarship awards, the education of chapters through the allocation of special projects funds, and financial assistance to the fraternity for leadership programming, such as regional leadership conferences, conclave, and Teak Leadership Academy. If you are a frauder who has never given, let today be the day you protect and provide our future by visiting teak.org backslash donate. Frauders Crockard, Aldrich, and I are always here to discuss how you can continue to support our continuing efforts to be innovative and impactful for years to come. Finally, it is our goal to commit to the most fundamental aspects of our common brotherhood. At their initiation, hundreds of thousands of frauders have made the same promises to develop their individual abilities and contribute them to each other with respect and understanding. Today, we face similar issues that our founders face that call on us to examine our place in the world and how we can contribute our skills and values to make our world safer and more prosperous for our family and future frauders. The principles of love, charity, and esteem that nearly 300,000 frauders have committed to since those five extraordinary men met in a small room in Bloomington, Illinois 125 years ago tonight serves as the most fitting blueprint for this mission. As we mark this occasion, never give up on your faith, family, fraternity, and loved ones. Never give up on the pursuit of happiness for life and for our beloved Tall Kappa Epsilon. Frauders, I love the fraternity. Oreo!